Hi everyone, Mary here with Leo Sunlight Insight. Welcome to your bonus reading. All signs, bonus reading, tarot forecast. My intention for this is if you did not resonate with all the uh, tarot forecast readings I just put out for all the signs, maybe uh, something here in your, in your mini reading will resonate for you. So we're going to do all signs, little individual mini readings. So thank you so much for tuning in watching. Those all watching with me, thank you, thank you so much. We're going to do all the signs in no particular order. I do have the Zodiac Oracle here. I'm going to shuffle it up in whatever order the signs are in. That's how we're going to do it uh, for tonight. So if you do like this, please let me know. I'll be doing these uh, probably weekly, but it'll be different every week. So some weeks it'll be about love. Some weeks it, it'll be uh, just generals, uh, singles, or the spirit messages. So that is my intention to give bonus readings and hopefully something here will resonate for you if something didn't resonate in your monthly readings. So that's my intention. So again, welcome, welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. My name is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. I am a Leo. And as you know, the sun represents uh, Leo. So Leo Sunlight Insight. So it's a little information about the title of my channel for those of you who didn't know that. So let's see. We're just going to put these in order to see what sign we get first. Super chat is open and those that would like to super chat, uh, first time using it. So whoever wants to be the first to throw a super chat, you're more than welcome. And if you do, thank you. So let's see who we have. We have cancer. Do we have any cancer people out there? Any cancer people? So let's see what we have for cancer. I hope everybody's doing well this time. Coming into Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving, happy early Thanksgiving. Hope everybody has a wonderful holiday season with their friends and family. All right, let's see what we have for Cancer. Only take, if it doesn't resonate with you, then it's probably not your message, everybody. So please keep that in uh, mind also. So let's get one of these for Cancer. I'm feeling that one. Let's get one of these. I'm going to pull one uh, oracle and then three tarot and then we'll see what your messages are so right now we have a time to give rather than take new moon in virgo so i don't know if anybody has uh, a virgo cancer if you have a virgo around you or if you have virgo in your chart and we have spiritual career so some of you could be thinking about going into the spiritual field here we have eight, uh, 78 which is 15, which reduces down to six, which is all about uh, heal, healing, balancing energy. So, and it could be this time to give rather than take, could be you giving and sharing your spiritual gifts if you've been thinking of doing that. New venture, new career, because we have new moon, in, uh, new moon in Virgo, so it's something new here, a spiritual career. So this could be a new uh, venture out for you. I feel like it's time to share your gifts. Wow. So we got the Ten of Pentacles, but then we have the Nine of Swords. So let's get one more. One more for you. The Hermit. All right. So bottom of the deck, the Three of Swords energy here. Oh, so we have a lot of air here. Uh, Virgo, um, <laughs> Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Virgo, New Moon and Virgo. So this just clarifies this. The Hermit is Virgo, Ten of Pentacles here, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn again. So I feel like, I feel like with this energy here that, you no, know, the Hermit here goes in, goes within, finds their way, their light, their path, does that inner deep soul searching work. And, but then I feel like, you know, you have stress, anxiety, worry, fear, maybe about going down this uh, path. But it's telling you here, this could lead you to the Ten of Pentacles here. Total growth, abundance, prosperity, family life, uh, legacy, everything with the Ten of Pentacles here. But I feel like you're really, really doing that soul searching. Do I really want to go down this path? Do I really want to do this? You're really, really probably overthinking about it here for some of you. But it's telling you here, you can have the Ten of Pentacles, uh, total abundance with this. But you also have the three of swords energy. So I feel like that's fear and look at under that the ace of swords. So this is definitely 
brand new beginning for you based on truth, clarity. This could be the spiritual energy also. So, but then you have the emperor taking the lead, taking charge, being that entrepreneur kind of energy. If it's not a spiritual career, it could be any kind of career here. If it's some of you, it could be spiritual. Some of you may not be. It could be just a new career in general. And I think you have fear. Well, what if it doesn't work out? And what if I end up, you know, hot broken over this? And I think that's where all this overthinking here is coming in. But I think Spare wants you to know that you should give it a try. Go for it. Because it's showing you the Ten of Pentacles here, which is total fulfillment in every single way. And abundance. So... I do see abundance there for you, Cancer. So I hope that resonated for you, Cancer. Uh, we'll be chatting together, so I'll be watching this live with everybody. So chat, let me know how it's resonating for you, everybody. All right, so let's see who's next. Taurus. Any Taurus people? Taurus, Taurus, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. This is my first premiere. So let's see. So this is a live premiere. So I thought it'd be fun to do this. We can all chat together. We could chat live, watch it together. And whoever wants to throw out the first super chat, my first time using the super chat, you're more than welcome. All right. And thank you. And you can check the uh, description box below anybody who's new or wants in more information. Um, there's a lot of information down in the description box. I do offer personal readings, so let's see what we have for Taurus. Luck is on your side. New moon is Sagittarius, and I do believe we are in Sagittarius season right now. So this could be definitely a message for you, Taurus, right now. Luck is on your side. Something new here. And we have intuition, so listen to your gut, your higher knowing, your intuition. 22. Um... That's a very uh, spiritual divine number, 22. So you might want to look up uh, angel number 22. I don't usually reduce double numbers, but two is about unity um, and that kind of energy, people coming together. So something may be coming in for you that's divinely guided for you, that's meant for you. And luck is on your side. So, so, so something definitely meant for you and you just need to pay attention and listen to your gut your intuition about it all right taurus so <laughs> taurus are two and then we have 22 so yeah two is a big number here um if that resonates with anybody two 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 wow you may want to look up that angel number well we have the tower here we have the king of wands Okay, I had a big clump fall out there, so one more, and the hangman. So, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck, Taurus. Wow, the ace of swords, so luck is on your side, a divinely guide, a brand new beginning here. Truth, clarity, epiphany, spiritual awakening, uh, cutting out things no longer serving you, clear, open communication, uh, standing up for yourself, telling it like it is kind of energy, like really being in that energy, but also being in a very passionate going for kind of energy here go getter driven i feel like things might have been on pause for you uh for a while here with the hangman uh being stuck for some reason um but i think something here the tower is going to come in here and this is like now and when i said now sagittarius season is now the tower is usually now also so this could be you know doesn't have to be bad it can be uh, a surprise it can be a breakdown, shakedown of something, shake up of some kind. Um, does it mean something coming to an ending? Could be a big realization, epiphany here. So if things were on pause, you know, just kind of hanging there and stuck, I feel like something's going to happen here, like lightning strikes you, like I need to take action and just go for it, something here. Like you see it clearly now, you're thinking clearly now, this brand new beginning divinely guided for you listen to your intuition knowing it's the right direction to go in and just know luck is on your side so i think everything will be fine whatever this is for you uh some sort of new beginning here so it could be a relationship it could be a job you could be moving um 
so let's let's clarify the tower why is the tower here or Taurus just so we can get an idea of what is going on with this tower for Taurus wow so we got the Queen of Swords oh, Libra Gemini Aquarius Aries um, Virgo um, Leo Sag Aries Pisces I mean Somebody, I mean, you could have had an argument with somebody or just a confrontation or something. Or again, this is just thinking very clearly, you know, with this Queen of Swords. So let's get a couple more on that. The Five of Wands. Yeah, and I had said argument. <laughs> and there's the conflict there with the uh, Five of Wands. It could have been with a lover or somebody that you're very close to. Could have been an argument or something here that led you to see the truth on something. And now you could be either just going in a whole new direction or uh, just really seeing things clearly and not being stuck anymore. And just know luck is on your side. Things will be getting better, going in the right direction because you did have the, have the Ace of Swords there. So hope that made sense for you, Taurus. Taurus, so please let me know. Let's chat. Tell me in the chat how that resonated for you. Sagittarius, wow, <laughs> Sagittarius, <laughs> wow, so we just had Sagittarius come out, and now here is Sagittarius, so welcome all Sagittarians, if there's any Sagittarians here, thank you for tuning in and watching, all right, so let's see what's going on for you, Sagittarius, hope everybody's doing well, welcome if you're new, those that do follow me and watch my channel, thank you so much, thank you for being here. Everybody, all right, let's see what we have for Sagittarius. Believe in the impossible, blue moon. So, and that's a full moon, even though it says blue moon. So you could have been, uh, be feeling blue, and you see like, almost looks like cold, uh, like icy trees there. So, might have been in a period of feeling like kind of like cold, and just like blah, and <sighs> waiting for something maybe to come into completion. Because that is a full moon, and full moon is about completion. So, but this is telling you to believe the impossible. What you think cannot happen can, and it could be a love partnership for you here. And we have tw twenty six, which is eight, which is about action, communication, travel. All right, let's see what's going on here. So I feel like <laughs> if you feel like there's a love partnership that may be may not be possible, may be impossible. It's telling you no, believe in the impossible. Someone may need to take action though. 26, eight is about action, travel, communication. So there may be, someone needs to communicate or take action or travel or something here. And it could be now because you see these trees look iced over. We are uh, coming into the winter season. So that could be something in the winter season here. And how many cards? Well, we got four. So let's see. So we have Justice. Wow. So we have the Empress. Wow. Justice, the Empress, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Swords. Three major arcana. Boom, boom, boom. And the Ten of Swords. Some kind of ending here. <laughs> Two of Cups. Soulmate energy here. Two people coming together as one in a love partnership. I could not make this up. I could not do it. And that does represent Leo up there uh, on the Two of Cups. Justice here, Libra, it doesn't have to be. This could be a divorce. This could be uh, karmic completion. It could be ending of a relationship. It just could be truth, clarity, things balancing out here. Justice coming in uh, and prevailing. Empress here. So Emperor, Empress, doesn't matter. Uh, knowing it could have been an ending here because the Empress does represent like a mother type figure, a wife. And that kind of energy. So it could be an ending here with someone you've maybe married to, had children with. And now here you are showing up in your reading as the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius. So and the Empress is a Libra Taurus. So we've got Libra, Libra Taurus, Sag. And then we have Libra Gemini Aquarius. So ear energy. And then Cancer Scorpio Pisces over here. So a lot of different energy here. But I do feel like that this goes this way. So I feel like there's been a painful, hurtful ending here, a completion and ending. Like I said, ending of a relationship, maybe even a divorce, could be with someone you were married to, had children with. But now things are turning in your favor. This is the Wheel of Fortune, divine timing, um, fate, destiny, things going in a new direction, better direction, better luck. 
And it could be in a new partnership here with the Two of Cups energy. Two soulmate here, love partnership. And if you think it, it's not possible for some reason, this is telling you, believe in the impossible, Sagittarius. But somebody, I feel like, needs to communicate to get this wheel turning and take action. Yeah, so we have under here the Tower and the Queen of Cups. So we have a water sign and we have like a blow up explosion here, breakdown of something could have been with a water sign here and feeling hurt, lonely in the loss here with the Five of Cups. Hurt, heartache, pain here with the Three of Swords and then healing and resting energy, but then not being stressed out about it anymore. It's like, you're not worried about this anymore. This is in reverse and I don't even know how it got that way. Not being stressed out about it anymore because there is a brand new beginning here, a very passionate brand new beginning, divinely guided, uh, passion, excitement, reuniting with somebody here with the Three of Cups coming together. And then I just said someone needs to take action here. And it may be you, Sagittarius, because here's temperance right underneath, Sagittarius. So you may have to take action and uh, with this come forward with that cup of love to your person, making that judgment call. And I could keep going, so I'm going to end it there because it's not fair <laughs> to everybody else. Um, but some messages are a little bit longer. So if that resonated for you, Sagittarius, um, it could be you or your other person. Um, let me know. I hope that resonated. Wow, okay, that was a long message. So let's see who is next. And we have Aquarius. Do we have any Aquarians in the house? Any Aquarians? Welcome, Aquarius. Let's see what we have for you. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Chat is open. Super chat is open. Check information in the description box if you like a personal reading or just information, tons of stuff there. If you do like how I read, my energy, if you're not already subscribed, please do like, share, subscribe, all the great stuff. Be greatly appreciated. Please like, please like this video. Those watching, thank you so much. Like, like, like. Let's see what we have for Aquarius. A time for healing. Balsamic moon. So something needs healing here, Aquarius. Something needs healing. All right. Let's get one of these for you, Aquarius. Aquarius. Let's get one of these. And I feel like this one, effort. And we have 13, which is four, which is about your basis, your foundation. Something in your foundation. Someone needs to put effort to bring healing into a situation, whether it's you or somebody around you. It could be in your family dynamic. It could be a love partnership. It could be friend, family, it could be something at work, but something here definitely uh, needs healing and effort needs to be put into this to um, help keep that foundation stable with the number four energy is all about stability. So what do we have here? The eight of cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. The Seven of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Let's get one more. Oh, that's too many. One more. And the Five of Cups. Oh boy, what's going on here? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces again. So somebody could have walked away here. The Eight of Cups, somebody, somebody may have gotten fed up here, walked away. Maybe they've been waiting, waiting on a situation here. They invested, they invested. In a situation now I feel like no longer waiting anymore so walking away and it could be you or the other person feels very hurt here feels the loss feels very hurt somebody walked away from someone was tired of waiting and now the other person's hurt but now spirit saying if you put the effort back in here this situation can be healed yeah ten of wands here somebody got tired of carrying some heavy burdens here decided ten is ending laying them all down and just ending here. But see, <laughs> two of cups, so, and it doesn't have to be a love partnership. It can be family, friend, whatever here, that people can come back together and unite back together and bring love, peace, harmony, and forgiveness back into the connection. And with the queen of pentacle energy, stability, with that four there, bring stability, practicality back into it, people coming back together 
and renewing uh, a relationship of some kind, even though there was some heavy burdens here. I think there could be a truce. There could be peace and harmony. Put the effort in and heal it. But I definitely see here somebody got tired of waning on a situation, walked away, and the other person now was really feeling that hurt, hurt, really feeling hurt, feeling the loss, sadness. Spirit says, no, if you put the effort in, the stability can come back and the healing just can be healed and people can unite and come back together with the two of cups energy. Aquarius. And I just noticed Aquarius short 11, which is two. Twos are about unity. So this can be healed if you choose to do it. You or someone you're dealing with, a situation. Right, Aquarius, I hope that resonated for you. Please let me know if it did down in the chat. Oh, we have Virgo next. Virgo, any Virgos here? Welcome in, everybody. Welcome, Virgo. Hope everybody's doing well. Let's see what your mini message is, Virgo. I hope everybody likes this. Uh, if you do, let me know. We'll do, I'll do these weekly. And we could chat live together. I thought it'd be kind of fun. All right. If you're new, welcome, welcome. Everybody hit the thumbs up button, please. So we can get this video circulating. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you. So let's get a message for Virgo. Spirit, please. Spirit, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Delivering the messages. Wow. <laughs> Too many. So I'm just going to take that one. Let's see what the message is for Virgo. Nothing will come of this situation. Void off course moon. Mm. There's something here you may just have to void because nothing will become of this situation here. You see this moon is kind of like very small out in the distance. Hmm. Virgo. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Let's get one of these. Let's get one of these. Let's see what's going on. Virgo. Message for Virgo. What do we have for Virgo? We got spiritual career again. Hmm. That's interesting. Wow. So... Nothing will come of the situation. So some of you, Virgo, I'm feeling <laughs> this is it's not a good message. I'm just telling you how, how I see it. But if you're thinking about going into a spiritual career, I don't know. It's, it's just saying nothing will come of the situation. But I don't know. Let's see. Maybe uh, there's some other message here. So what is this about for Virgo? Why do we have this here? Maybe there's a situation now you're in, uh, maybe the career you're in now, maybe it's going nowhere, maybe you feel like it's at a standstill, it's at a stop, there's no growth, there's no expansion, um, you feel like it's run its course, so that could be nothing will come of the situation, like nothing else can come from this, and maybe you are, some of you also who are Virgo, maybe you are thinking about also going into the spiritual field. So what is this about for Virgo? What's going on? What's going on for Virgo? So we got the chariot. So that's Cancer Energy. The Page of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And the Seven of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn again. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor, Aries. So yeah, this is taking the lead, taking the charge, taking control, being an entrepreneur. A boss, um, being your own boss. What's under that? Taking action here with the Knight of Wands. Move, moving forward, very passionately driven kind of energy there. And going for it and being your own boss. So some of you could feel like there's no more to come with where you are now. It's, it's like it's stuck, it's stagnant. There's no more growth expansion. It's like it's like it's ran its course with the Seven of Pentacles here. You invested a lot of time and energy but it's not growing anymore. It's like you're just kind of hanging out and like, yep, yeah, it's kind of boring. It's dull. There's no more growth expansion. I'm kind of just doing my day to day. So now this is like taking that action uh, with the chariot energy. That's like positive movement forward, very balanced energy going for it. And you do have the page of pentacles here. So this could be student. This could be learning something new. Maybe you're just getting getting in tune, in touch with your spiritual side, your spiritual career. If it's not spiritual, it could be any kind of career here. And just learning something new. Or this could be a solid offer coming in uh, for you also. 
So I do see uh, positive, and this is also success and victory. So I feel like whatever direction you go in here and you decide to take the lead, take control, take charge, just move forward victoriously here. Because I feel like, you know, what you're doing now is just blah. It's just, feel, you feel like it's just dead, gone, over. And something new coming in for you here with the Page of Pentacles or learning something new. Wow, and going for it. So if you're unsure, I'd say go for it. Go for it, Virgo. So I hope that resonated for you, Virgo. Please, guys, let me know in the chat how these resonate. Uh, I need a drink of water. Let's see who's next. Capricorn, Cappy Cappy. Any Capricorns in the house? Welcome, Capricorn. Welcome, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for being here and watching. If you're new, my name is Mary. My channel, Leo Sunlight Insight. I am a Leo. The sun represents Leo. I love to give insight. My channel is just about a year old, almost a year old. So thank you, everybody, for all your support that you show me by sharing, watching, liking, commenting, all that great stuff is appreciated. All right, Capricorn, let's see the message. What do we have, Spirit, at this time for Capricorn? Your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. So this could be a new start, something new here. And Spirit wants to know, are you being committed and will you stay committed to this new beginning? It could be anything. It could be a new job. It could be uh, anything here. And uh, there may be things, you know, day-to-day -day things that are just really testing your patience. They're testing your stamina. They're just testing your willpower your endurance to see if you can keep going and these could be all little tests from the universe though it may not seem like it to see if you will stay committed to this new beginning Capricorn so one more message for Capricorn we got the moonology deck here and the numerology Wow <laughs> so this did fall I usually don't take oracles in reverse but it did fall in reverse and we have self-discipline here uh, 41, which is five, which is about change. So yeah, self-discipline, staying dedicated, staying focused, staying on track, staying on schedule, staying the course, um, and just keep going here. And will you be committed and have that self-discipline? If you don't have that self-discipline, if you're getting off track, if you're not staying committed to your schedule or, you know, what you're supposed to be doing and you kind of like lose track and get off track, I think four one five change. Uh, the change is here, needing to stay self disciplined and committed to whatever you are doing here. And spirit could be testing you. The universe could be testing you, and you may not see it as that way. You might just feel like you know what. Maybe at times you feel like you know what, I don't think I could do this. Maybe it's not for me. I don't know. So let's see. Let's get a few cards here for Capricorn. What is this about? Yeah, the Nine of Wands, Leo Sagittarius, the Hangman, Cancer Scorpio, uh, Cancer Pisces. We get one more, and the Five of Wands here, Leo Sagittarius again. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands, Leo Sagittarius again. So we got a lot of fire energy here, which is a very go-getter, passionate, driven kind of energy. A lot of fire here. So you could have heavy fire in your chart. But the Nine of Wands is like, you know, I've been through the battle. I've been through the struggle. I'm trying to stay disciplined. I don't know if I can stay committed to this. It's just I feel like so beat up and worn out. And like one more thing and ten, one more wand would be a ten, would be completion, would be like just laying down the burden and say, I'm done. So I feel like one more wand added to this, you may be just done and could be just a test here. So I think it's telling you that when you feel that way, just to take a breather, just relax, just hang back. Just, you know, even though they want you to stay, you know, spirit wants you to stay disciplined. You know, if you feel like you need to break, take a break, take a breather, relax, you know, calm your nerves down, take some time for you. It's okay to hang back and take a pause and take a break here and see things from all angles, pers perspectives here. 
And spirit could be saying, you know, just realize here, these are just little tests I'm putting you through to see if you can stay committed to this. Because you got the five and one. So this could be inner conflict or conflict around you of some kind. So you could maybe, you know, just really conflicted inside. Do I keep going? Do I just stop? Maybe this just isn't meant for me. I don't know. But, you know, the two of wands here is about, you know, making plans, decisions, moving forward. I feel like, you know, you really want to be committed this, to this. You really see this out in the distance, making these plans for the future. You've got the wand in your hand already, and you're almost there. And uh, and as I said that, there's the wand in your hand here. So, you know, this is an energy of being defensive and on guard and um, holding a stance. So you could be, but then here's the king of wands energy is being that entrepreneur, that go-getter, that um, passionate, fiery energy, just going for it here, you know, and just keep your, keep your guard up, just hold a stance, just keep going because you're almost there, you know, making those plans, decisions for the future. But I think spirit in the universe is really testing you with this inner conflict here, but you have the hangman right in the middle. So I feel like. You need to take a break. Take a break. It's okay. You know, take some time for you. And you can overcome inner conflict that you may have within yourself. And just stay disciplined, focused. Just try to calm down. And just keep going here. Because your future awaits here. You have it in your hand. So your future does await there for you, Capricorn. Wow, Capricorn. So, I mean, it could be anything. It could be a job. It could be a career. It could be a relationship. It just, it could be anything here. So, however that makes sense for you, I hope it does. I hope it resonated. Cappies. All right, Cappies. That's your message. Let's see who's next. Leo. Leo, Leo. Let's see what's going on for Leos out there. How many Leos do we have here? Leo. What are the messages for Leo? Fire. Fire, Leo. What do we have for Leo at this time, Spirit? Thank you so much. We have a message for Leo. A message for Leo. Leo, Leo. <laughs> again, your commitment is being tested again. You know what? I don't feel comfortable taking that because it just came out. So let's see. If it's meant to come out, it will. So let's see what is the message for Leo. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Okay. So if some of you are wondering for some reason about you and your loved ones, you are safe. So however that resonates for you. Could be any kind of situation here. If you're worried about your safety for some reason, uh, could be something new happening in your life and you're very uh, worried. It could be financially. It could be a domestic situation. It could be career-wise, uh, anything here. But Spirit saying, nope, you are safe. You're being watched over. You're being protected by Spirit in the universe. This could be just something new that popped up in your life, and you're like, what? What's going on? And could have could have been as new as far back as maybe cancer season, which is end of June to July. So maybe something started happening then, and now you're like, uh-oh. But we have self-love here, so we have 61, and that's 7. 7 is a very divinely guided spiritual number. Hmm, okay. So so don't doubt yourself um, if you feel like something is your fault, or um, if you're in a situation and you're like, you know, it's my fault that we're in this situation we're in right now, whether it's something... Um, you know, with your family or just you in general, um, spirits like, no, nope. just have that self-love, self-worthiness, value, you know, don't feel negative about yourself. All right, let's see what we have for Leo. The Nine of Wands again, wow. So, and then the Four of Swords here. So that's your energy, Leo Sag Aries with the Nine of Wands and then the Four of Swords. Libra Gemini Aquarius. So let's get one more. And the Six of Swords. Libra Gemini Aquarius again. So I feel like in the Eight of Pentacles here. So 
Virgo Taurus Capricorn doesn't have to be. So really putting in the dedicated effort, the hard work here moving forward. And as I said, that moving forward here. So I feel like oh, Nine of Wands, again, been through a battle, been through something here with the Nine of Wands. Like you see this man is all like beat up and everything. So you might have just been through something here that was quite a struggle. Um, and you didn't know if you could keep going on. Um, but you're safe and your loved ones are safe. I feel like you really had to heal over a situation here. You had to think, contemplate, say, take some time alone, recuperate and really heal. But now six of swords. So going in a better direction, leaving all this nine of wands energy behind and going in a better direction with the six of swords, peace, harmony, balance, um, to a better place, just moving forward to a better place with the Six of Swords energy. Some of you could actually be moving, physically moving, traveling. Um, I hope some of you didn't have to like sneak out, get away like in the middle of the night. So we do have nighttime energy here while somebody was sleeping. I don't know. <laughs> oh boy. But just know whatever you're doing, whatever you're working out. Yeah, we got the devil under here. So you could have been in a bad situation. Uh, toxic situation here that was not good feeling bound and tied to something here for a very long time and kind of like patiently waiting here to take the sword and just rush out of a situation and uh could have been a very toxic energy here and maybe some of you did have to sneak away in the middle of the night while somebody was sleeping i hope you know there wasn't any like abusive energies here and if there was, I'm sorry about that. But just know whatever you had to do to get away, that you are safe. And don't ever doubt yourself. Don't ever feel down on yourself. Spirit wants you to know to love yourself, to know your value and your worth. And that whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing, working forward, working on yourself, that you're going in a much, much better place in a much, much better direction here with the Six of Swords, just full of peace, harmony, balance to a much better place. Wow. Okay, that was a heavy message for some Leos. Wow. Okay, Leo. <laughs> Let me know how that resonated. Tell me in the chat. We'll chat about it. Wow, that was a strong, heavy message, Leo. Oh, I'm sorry if you guys, any, you know, any of you Leos went through something bad, a struggle there, but I definitely feel like you did the right thing and you're going in a much, much better place much better place wow all right let's see who's next libra any air signs out there libra let's see what we have for libra 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 wow okay libra let's see what's going on for libra spirit please thank you so much what's the messages for libra what are the messages for libra at this time hope everybody's doing well thank you everybody for watching for being here for the premiere all right okay libra chats open super chats open if you choose to and if you do thank you lots of stuff in the description box if you would like a personal reading all that great stuff thank you please give me a thumbs up like share comment all that great stuff all right so let's see libra balance spirituality and practicality full moon in pisces Okay, Libra. So needing balance in your life in some way here between spirituality and practicality. So maybe you're feeling imbalanced right now for some reason. Hmm, I don't know. We'll see. Full moon in Pisces. Something coming to a completion for you. Maybe you're feeling a little out of sorts or out of balance for some reason about some kind of cycle that's just completed. But I think you need to connect more to spirit, uh, pray, meditate, uh, just take some time for you and maybe needing to be more practical for some reason for some of you. Let's see what we have here. Perseverance. So, yeah, so we have four here, stability, foundation, basis, and four here, uh, green to me is always like monetary, material things can also, green is a hot chakra, can be about love, opening your heart again to to spirit faith hope optimism 
and the practicality I feel like also is with the green and monetary material thing. So you may, may need to watch that. You know, you are about balance, Libra, because you're justice. So, and that's funny because you are balance, and this does say balance. So that that is, I just noticed that. So something with your stability here, but not to give up. You know, to keep going uh going on because perseverance here is just to keep going on here so i don't know let's see what's going on for you libra what's going on for libra at this time and i notice here the colors are almost the same there so all right so what's going on for libra <laughs> for lovers so may have to do with the love partnership here we have gemini and that can also be about choices, uh, choices between two people, just choices in life. All right, what else do we have for Libra? Oh, we got the Queen of Cups in reverse. All right, I didn't know I had reversals in here. And the Six of Wands, success, victory. We have Gemini, we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Leo, Sag, Aries. Pisces over there again. And now we have the Queen of Swords, which is your energy, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So again here, seeing, you know, needing, could be that you need to see with truth and clarity or you are at this time. You know, use it, you can use that sword to cut away things no longer serving you. Speaking up for yourself, telling it like it is, clear cut communication, having just a deep knowing truth, clarity. Sometimes though, uh, swords can be a little cold with their words, so be careful with that energy. Now we've got the Queen of Wands underneath. So you could have a fire sign around you, a Leo Sag Aries. So this is just your energy of being in this true uh, truth and clarity and also very passionate, fiery energy. Also, go-getter kind of energy. So, and then we get the Six of Cups energy here. So this could be, you know, friends, family of the past, a soulmate energy from the past. It could be about love. <sighs> But with the Queen of Cups in reverse, to me, that is like not feeling love of a situation here. So, because we do have, I mean, it can be male or female. Maybe you're trying to choose between two people, maybe another air sign and a fire sign. But one is your soulmate. Could be a fire sign because now we have Leo here. Yeah, soulmate energy here with the Two of Cups. So there's definitely a soulmate here. The sun and the two of cups that will bring you so much joy, happiness, and abundance. Definitely a soulmate, soulmate, heavy soulmate. So it could be a fire sign here or a water sign. So if you're trying to, because this is you, so if you're trying to decide between a water sign and a fire sign, the water sign's in reverse. So either they don't feel the same or they like you and you don't like them as much. Maybe you have more feelings for a fire sign. Or this could be two signs, but I do see success, victory here, and offer could be from a fire sign. So yeah, I do see, you know, you could be trying to choose between two, and maybe you're finding finding it hard to find balance and being practical and making this decision moving forward. But Spirit wants you to know you need to make this decision. You may have two people waiting on you, and one is going to bring you a lot of abundance and stability and I feel like it may be the fire sign because I think the water sign may be confused. They're not sure or they don't feel the same or they just um, not communicating to you how they truly feel. They could be very emotional, over emotional, needy, that kind of energy. So I would be careful with the water sign. That's just my take on it. So if that made sense for you, Libra, you could be male or female watching this, however this resonates for you. But I do see success with the fire sign and with that water in reverse eh, i don't know but i definitely soulmate here we have two cards of soulmate soulmate here needing to choose needing to choose you can do it all right libra i hope that resonated for you sometimes these messages they are tarot forecasts you never know what you're going to get i used to just read it general but now i'm like whatever the energy is i'm going to read could be love could be career could be finance could be general could be anything so we have gemini now another air sign any gemini's out there hi gemini i hope everybody's doing well let's see what we have for gemini 
Gemini, what is your tarot forecast at this time? Gemini, Gemini. Welcome, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for your support. Please do like, share, comment, all that great stuff. If you like my energy, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Check out my channel. We greatly appreciate it. So what do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? What's the message for Gemini at this time? Spirit, please. You and your loved ones are safe. Again, new moon and cancer. Getting a lot of repeat cards tonight. And you see me shuffle, so something Gemini here. You and your loved ones are safe. Hmm. Okay. Let's get another message. Another message for you, Gemini. Gemini. One more message. Parenting. 63, which is 9. So 9, you could be a single parent here. And maybe you'll, you'll um, it may not be so much about like physical safety. Maybe you're just one, hoping and wondering, you can male or female, am I good enough? Uh, can I support me and my children? You know, are we going to be safe? Can I keep them fed? Can I keep them clothed? Can I keep a roof over our head? You know, that energy. Maybe for some of you, what spirit's like telling you you are safe so and yellow there reminds me of the sun which is the happiest card in the deck success victory happiness and nine is a very independent energy so like i said you could be a single parent or maybe this is something new maybe you know you just newly became single all right so let's see yeah <laughs> And as I said, that the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So this is a very slow, usually he's a very, very slow moving knight, barely moves, barely takes action, but he's very practical. He's stable. He's grounded. Uh, he's very cautious. He makes, tries to make all the right decisions. He thinks things through thoroughly, but with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, um, you may be, you know, you could be doing things that you don't usually do here um just be careful of that because it may not be the most stable action <laughs> or the most or the more practical action all right so let's get a couple more gemini now we got the moon in reverse so this is secrets coming to light um our hidden secrets are not listening to your gut and your intuition with the moon energy, Cancer Pisces. We do have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So let's get one more. Let's get one that's not in reverse. Oh, wow. The High Priestess, Cancer Pisces. And, I, and as I said, not listening to your gut and your intuition, then the High Priestess comes up, which does listen to our gut and our intuition or higher knowing is very divinely connected to source, to spirit. But she doesn't, say a lot she keeps quiet and doesn't share eight of pentacles energy here so again you know working hard at something here virgo Taurus, capricorn so i feel like with this knight of pentacles in reverse you may be maybe a side job or doing things that aren't the safest aren't the most practical idea or having ideas or something and then, like i said the knight of pentacles usually doesn't move he's very slow i feel like you're trying to speed things up along, maybe doing things out of sorts for you, not thinking practical, not thinking, you know, about the whole situation, you know, and with the moon in reverse, uh, this could be, you know, about secrets. Um, you know, maybe you're not telling anyone, maybe you're secretly doing something here because you're worried about having enough for some of you, for your children. And it definitely, again, here with secrets. So, um, but needing to listen, listening to, to your gut and your intuition. And it could be something with work here uh, with the Eight of Pentacles energy. Also, it could be with the moon in reverse. You know, you may get caught. <laughs> you know, this may be found out. Uh, so you may want to be careful about that. If it's something, I don't want to say illegal, or maybe something you shouldn't be doing. Just be careful because you may get caught, even though you're trying to keep it quiet, 
trying to keep it quiet because you feel like that's the best thing to do. Um, yeah, so, you know, we have the King of Cups energy. So I do feel like there's a lot of love here. You have a lot of love and devotion. If some of you are single parents for your children, just be careful. If you're doing things, the Five of Swords is kind of like ego kind of energy, getting ahead at all costs. So, yeah, if you're really getting trying to get ahead at all costs um, because you have such deep love and emotions for your family and you're worried, so you're really trying to work hard here, but just be careful. Just be careful. may not be the wisest decisions that you're making, and something may come to light here. But just know that you are safe. So I think you don't have to do these things, or if you're doing something, and you're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. You probably shouldn't. <laughs> because you, you will be safe. You are safe. And that's what Spirit's trying to tell you. Wow. So I hope that resonated for you, Gemini. Gemini. All right. It could be just working too much and working two jobs and not telling anyone that you're working two jobs. I don't know if that makes any kind of sense, but... Um, I don't know. Don't get overworked either. All right. Let's see who's next. Pisces. Water sign. Pisces, Pisces. Let's see what we have for Pisces. All right. Welcome, Pisces. If you're hanging out, if you're here. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching, for being here, chatting, like, sharing, subscribing, all that great stuff. Thank you. I'll be chatting live with you. All right. Let's see what we have for Pisces. Well, I guess that's your message. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. Wow. So this is going to be, I think, something you're not going to see coming. Pisces. Big, big change. You may have an inkling something's coming. Something's changing. Because you can see just a little bit there. So you may have like a feeling or something like, oh, something's happening or you know, whatever here. It's like you kind of know, you kind of feel it, you kind of have an inkling, but you're not sure. Then I think all of a sudden you're not going to see it coming. And boom, some kind of change here. So let's see what's going on. Something new coming in with this new moon eclipse. All right, so one more for Pisces. Perseverance again. Wow, four. Oh, could be like unexpected money coming in i don't know or a job offer or something here or somebody offers you help or sees you struggling and somebody like offers you unexpected help or like monetary help or something like that or you could win the lottery i don't know something here powerful unexpected change i feel that you're not going to see coming you may be struggling with something right now for with your basis your foundation your stability for some reason and you're trying you're trying and, and you're fighting and you're you know really trying to get ahead well, something's coming in for you let's see what's going on pisces let's see what's going on pisces let's see what's going on for you pisces all right let's get a couple cards for pisces Four of Wands, so there's your stability. Happy home and family, commitment, Leo Sag Aries. The Knight of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. Let's get one more. And the Chariot, wow, Cancer Energy. And the Devil underneath, hmm, Capricorn Energy. So, you know, and the Devil doesn't have to be like, um, a toxic person it could be your energy like feeling um having doubt fear worry anxiety stress negative thoughts negative energy like being down on yourself kind of energy but then under that we have the ten of pentacles again with you know abundance some sort of abundance here coming in so some sort of abundance coming in and I feel like you're really struggling and you're really down on yourself in a negative energy. Um, but stability, you know, commitment of some kind doesn't have to be commitment, just stability 
celebrations of some kind. Um, stable home life here. And the Knight of Wands. So this could be someone coming into you very quickly um, here, taking action. It could be like, I, like the wand in their hand there, like offering you help or offering you something. Which will enable you here to move forward very victoriously in a more positive direction. And as I said that, and I had said here, fear, worry, anxiety, negative energy. And I just unknowingly said positive. So I feel like you'll be going in a positive direction here. I feel like somebody may see you like struggling, even though they look happy. You know, the four of wands, they look happy. Somebody may see you struggling um, in your home life, your environment. And they just may come out of nowhere and offer you some sort of help or something, uh, guidance, help, uh, a job. It could be anything here. And now there's celebrations, there's ceremonies, there's happy times, happy family life. And now you can move, like I said, forward in a more positive direction, being very balanced and being successful and victorious. Wow. That's a nice energy, Pisces. So I hope that resonated for you, Pisces. Again, I don't think you're going to see it coming. And it's going to lead to this powerful change. Not to give up. All right, Pisces. Wow, okay. Let's see who's next. We've got two more signs here. Scorpio, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio. Welcome, Scorpio. Any Scorpios here? Let's see what's going on for Scorpio. What is the message for Scorpio at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Confidence is key to your success, new moon in Leo. Hmm, okay. Confidence is the key to your success, so stay confident. If you're going for something now, just know that being, you know, in that fiery, passionate, go-getter, confident energy will lead you to nothing but success. But don't get overconfident and cocky and, like, egotistical either. All right, so let's get one more for Scorpio. Change. So five, yeah, it's all about change. <sighs> so some going through a change here. Very successful change, I see, of some kind. Could be change of job. It could be, you know, moving. You could be, you know, physically moving. Um, and Scorpio, you are eight. Eight is about travel, movement, action. So some of you could be um, just moving to a new home. Or changing jobs. Some sort of change here. Change in your life in some way. That would be very successful for you and to remain confident fiery. All right, let's see what's going on for Scorpio. All right, so it could be brand new beginning in love here. Divinely guided, brand new beginning in love. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy here, so that's you. And it doesn't have to be a love partnership. It could be divine love within yourself, being confident, uh, self-love, fulfillment, spiritual enlightenment. Four of Pentacles, so there's your stability. So it could be with um, something to do with work here. Really holding on to everything you have, but not really, not really giving either to anybody. Just holding on to your stability here. But I do see some change coming in. So let's see. Two of Pentacles. So juggling things around here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn again. You could be juggling around. Uh, thoughts, ideas. You could be juggling around the idea of moving. You do see uh, water there with two ships. So you could be very, like, feel stable where you are now. But really, but then also really contemplating juggling around the idea of moving. And you feel like, I feel like wherever, whatever you have your eyes on, if some of you are thinking about moving, it's like, Oh, I just love this house. I just love the neighborhood. I love the state. I love I love everything about it. I just it could be near water. A lot of water here, a waterfall or something like that. But yet you feel kind of like um like, you know, <laughs> you want to but then you don't. It's like I want to but then I don't. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Wands. So fire energy again, Leo Sagittarius. 
fiery, passionate new beginning here, divinely guided. So we have two cups here. Wow, two new beginnings. So fiery energy here, feeling very fiery, passionate about this. Just totally like love. Like I said, here's, you know, a stream here. So it could be near water, mountains. Again, you see water and mountains here. Uh, but I think you're you're not sure. It's like, I do, I don't. Um, you're kind of complacent when you're on now. It's like, I'm comfortable. Do I really want to do this? Da, da, da. But I think you got two divinely new beginnings here for you. So I think that if you're thinking about it, Spirit's trying to tell you this is divinely guided. If you feel such a deep connection, like when you go, maybe you vacation there, maybe you visit or whatever, and you feel like really connected, it's meant for you because you have two aces here. And if it's not physically moving, it could be a career, it could be a new lover, very fiery, passionate um, connection with somebody. There is love too, though. But you could be holding back from one another right now, not really giving to one another and holding back and just like juggling back and forth like <laughs> it's like going nowhere it's like constantly back and forth but going nowhere but something needs to change somebody needs to be confident and bold and make the first move if it's a relationship to change the dynamic so whew, i hope that resonates for you a couple different messages there scorpio wow all right that was scorpio all right, we got one left. Aries. Let's see what we have for Aries. What do we have for Aries at this time, Spirit? Please, thank you so much. So your last Aries, but make it a good one, Aries. Thank you so much for stopping by and sticking out, everybody. Those of you who are still here, thank you. And I feel like that's yours right there. Ooh, Aries, a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. New moon in Libra. Libra season just went by, so this could be a new relationship. But you see the scales there, so it could be very balanced. Very balanced, new romantic love interest here. Oh, okay. Aries. Let's get one more for Aries. What's the message for Aries, Spirit, please? Financial discipline. Hmm. That's odd. Romantic cycle and financial discipline, 8 and 4, 12 is 3, which is about teamwork, collaboration, people working together. If you're dating somebody new and they're not like <laughs> like going Dutch or, or they're, you know, maybe you have to pay for everything, maybe it's time that you kind of speak up, especially if you're a female or male, female, doesn't matter here. Um, or you need to watch, you know, maybe you're spoiling this person. Uh, maybe you need to watch that. All right. So let's see. You need to take the Aries is about, you know, the Emperor taking the control, taking charge, taking the lead. So you may need to control your finances. And it could be because of this new person. It could be that, you know, you're just over spoiling them. Or maybe you're paying for everything and they're not offering to go Dutch or I don't know, something like that. All right, let's see what we have. The Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The World, Earth Energy here. One more, the Ten of Cups. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and on the bottom of the deck, Strength, Leo, Sag, Aries. Uh, Leo, actually, and then Leo, Sag, Aries with passionate, fiery communication here. Travel could be tra you could be traveling to this person and maybe you do all the traveling and you know it's costing you a lot of money. Maybe you know you need to tell them, you know, can we meet halfway or something? It's like meeting needing to meet halfway, but I do see here maybe you're even thinking about engagement here or something like that. But I think you need to think about it a little bit more with the hangman energy. Yeah, maybe some of you just don't want to be single anymore. The nine of pentacles in reverse is a single energy, it's in reverse. Maybe some of you don't want to be single anymore, but you need to, you know, think about it just a little bit more because there's an offer right there. Somebody wants to offer something to somebody, either just commitment, exclusive or whatever here. Very strong, strong bond here with strength, fiery, passionate communication. I could be travel. So I do see the Ten of Cups with this person 
total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. A whole new chapter with this person. You know, you could have just went through something. Uh, and now it says new romantic cycle. And the world is about new cycles, new beginnings here with the world. New chapter. Could have happened very quickly with the Knight of Swords here. You just could have met and just boom, it took off. And very, very quick romance here. But I do see the Ten of Cups with this person and may want to offer something. If you feel it's a very strong bond, maybe you just don't want to be single anymore. But I think you just need to maybe slow it down a little bit, think about it a little bit more. And if you're doing all the traveling or paying for everything or you're spoiling them too much or something with finances here, you need to kind of control that a little bit. Um, that's what the Emperor Aries about controlling. And you may just have to rush into them and tell them, you know, can we kind of, you know, go Dutch here or meet halfway or kind of split the expenses or maybe it's a touchy subject. I don't know. But I do see the Ten of Cups with this person, Aries. So this is your Ten of Cups person, soulmate energy. Wow, it's a nice, very strong bond here with Leo. Wow, Aries. So I hope that resonated. Do tell me in the comments how these resonated for you. All right, so that was your bonus reading, all signs, mini readings. Hope they all resonated with everybody. Hope you enjoyed this. Please do let me know. I'll be doing them weekly. And um, check the description box below, everybody, if you're new or whatever. Book, you can book a personal reading, uh, anything like that. And please do like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. Be greatly, greatly appreciate it. And again, thank you, everybody. And I will see you next week.